Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lillian. Lillian from Kenya to Montana, USA. Thank you so much for your support, your views, your comments, your likes, your sharing, and for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. So today I want us to talk about vaccination, immunization schedule for for kids and you adults when you're coming to the USA. You know, during this process of immigration, there is a point where you need to go to the embassy for your last interview. So before you go there, the IOM has to clear you medically and um, clearing you medically, one of those things that are required are the vaccinations. We have vaccinations and they test for several diseases. So with vaccination, this is uh, where you get to spend a lot of money. And um, okay, if you are alone, it depends. Uh, a lot of money it depends whom are you telling. But I'm telling people, people like me, uh, yeah. You know, you might be telling someone who doesn't, you tell her 100,000 and she thinks like, did she say really 100,000 is a lot of money? No, I'm talking to people who are who are managing life, like myself. So there are these vaccines that you, that you need to know. Go online, they are online. Search for the vaccinations schedule required in the US, whichever country you're going to, Canada, UK, just go online and search for those vaccinations. Because people have asked me which vaccines did I give, that's why I'm here to talk about the vaccines I gave. I have three kids and the small one is three years old. I have a six year old and a nine year old. So there are three, six and nine. So the vaccines, the first thing you need to know, the IOM will ask you for the KP. KP, those books, if you are you went to government hospitals like myself they'll ask for the booklet if you went whichever the records the record that you have for kp that's the first thing they will ask you for and that um those records kp records and the rest that we are going to talk about just in case i forget you will also come and submit them in schools if your kids will be going to schools they require this um, evidence of vaccinations. So after KP, we are going to talk about these uh, serious vaccines and um, <laughs> expensive vaccines. So for the three year old, that is, I believe is one to three, those ages have been, they have been put into brackets like one to three, uh, four to six, so they are in brackets. If you check online, you will see. So one, two, three, we got um, MMR two doses, varicella two doses. These two vaccines are, they are live vaccines. And for you to, just to, to for your convenience as a parent, you will just want to go twice to the clinic. Please just get these vaccines all together. They inject this side uh, varicella, the other side MMR. Then you go after one month to get the second dose of MMR and varicella. Because if you get one MMR today and the first MMR today and you're getting the first varicella another week, you'll be going to that clinic four times for something that you could have gone two times. So we got MMR and varicella and these two vaccines run across all the ages. We got pneumococcal uh, 13, that was one dose. That vaccine was around 5,000. It was more than 5,000, pneumococcal 13 for the three year old. And it was just one dose. We got hepatitis P dose and um, yellow fever, not really required, but I just gave and a flu vaccine, just one dose. Coming to the next one, this six year old, I gave varicella uh, two doses, MMR two doses, yellow fever, uh, hepatitis B, and Adacel. 
other self because he was she was nearing seven year old so i just gave that other self polio to her um the going to the big boy he also got varicella two doses mmr two doses hepatitis b one dose that's hepatitis b pig vaccine one dose uh other cell polio one dose vaccine grip that's a flu vaccine one dose yellow fever one dose okay so somehow these vaccines look the same it's just because for the small one the three-year-old he got um pneumococcal 13 dose and these two got uh, other cell polio so other cell polio other cell polio and the small one pneumococcal yeah those are the doses I gave my kids, but there's also this range between 11 to 17 years. You still give yellow fever, MMR two doses. I said yellow fever is not a must. It's a poor new whether to give or not. Yellow, fe yellow fever, MMR two doses, varicella two doses, meningococcal one dose, hepatitis B, PIV dose one dose, uh, flu vaccine, and um, other cell polio. Remember for flu vaccine, you need to give, it expires after one year. So you need to give it the last thing when you know you are going for the IOM, you already have the IOM appointment date. So if you give earlier and then, you know, sometime you can stay, you can stay even for two years. So you give towards the end when you know sure, you are sure you've been given the appointments. Okay, it might expire and it's expensive expensive this flu vaccine so the next thing is myself i had done the um, titers my agent asked for titers so i did the titers hepatitis came negative so i had to do three doses of hepatitis b uh, varicella came negative i had to do three doses of varis two doses of varicella so three doses of hepatitis B and two doses of varicella. I also did um, my MMR was positive. So if it would be negative, I would have done two doses of MMR. I did uh, yellow fever. I also did uh, flu vaccine. Okay. My husband did the same. He his titers we did titers. His titers came positive for MMR and varicella. So for him, he just did hepatitis, hepatitis B, um, three doses, and um, yellow fever and uh, flu vaccine. Both of us also did other cell polio. Other cell polio runs from, I think, seven years to adults. So you need to get one dose of the cell polio when you are giving going for these vaccines kindly find out the places that are cheaper because you might get a difference of a thousand because something like other cell polio in kenyatta it was around four thousand two hundred while at wilson it was three thousand five hundred i remember by then when i was giving mine so wilson was cheaper uh there's a day i was give um I had already given three of my family, they already received a um, flu vaccine in Kenyatta. And so they didn't have, they only had three doses of which we finished them. So two people were pending, so we just walked across. I called AAR and they said they had vaccines. Going there, the price was a thousand less than Kenyatta. People are asking which Kenyatta, prime Kenyatta, you go upstairs, is a private sector. So you go at the casualty, you go upstairs, you find clinics there, and you find all these vaccines are available. But you need to find out because you need to save money. Find out which places are cheaper for you. Most of my bikes, most of my, of my vaccines I did uh from kenyatta i got my my vaccines most of them from kenyatta so that's how it happened 
So when you are talking about KP, uh, at IOM they'll ask you the KP books. If you have a new book, you lost a book and you have a new book, they'll ask for you if there, if there are not from the, from the provider or something. But anyway, you will go through even, go present what you have. If you have a new book or an old one, you know a new book means you just wrote yourself. I believe so because those books got lost long time ago. So present your original book, it will be easier for you or whatever. Maybe you don't have so you and you must go. Go with a book, go with something you've written. As long as you are there with something. Although they will write on top in valid, but what do you do? Go with something. These vaccines, when you come here for the kids, they will, uh, you need, the school will need them. So you take the, these, um, the vaccines, that the records. You give to the school so that they go through and see what you've given your kids. If you didn't give the expected, they will ask you to go and give. You know now we were talking of is expensive back home. I don't know how we'll talk about you just landed here. You're trying to get kids to school and they're telling you go and get these vaccines. It will be three times expensive. So do these vaccines back at home. Okay, and you'll be your life will be easier. So, thank you for watching, guys. You get all this information online. Get which vaccines to give to which age group, and if you have a question or addition or subtraction, just comment there. Yeah, comment at the comment section, and thank you again for watching. I love you all. Bye bye.